Sydney Sweeney turned heads as she arrived at an Oscars afterparty in a vintage dress that was originally worn by Angelina Jolie over 20 years ago. Sydney Sweeney looked amazing at the Vanity Fair afterparty in a dress Angelina Jolie wore to the Oscars in 2004. The anyone but you actress was sure to find a super cool old dress for the big Hollywood party. Angelina first wore the shiny cream dress with a deep v-neck 20 years ago. It was made by Mark Bauer, an American designer. The dress has a big v-neck and no back, with nice ruching at the waist that looks good on her. Sydney and her stylist, Molly Dickinson, worked together to make the dress look just as good as when Angelina wore it. They even chose similar accessories to go with it. Sydney had her hair done up fancy and wore beautiful makeup. She wore special necklaces made by Messica and a white belt to finish off her outfit. Molly, Sydney's stylist, shared a photo of the actress on Instagram and said thank you to Mark Bauer for letting them borrow the dress. She said, Thank you so much Mark Plus at Paul Margolin for letting us into your archives for this special moment. Sydney, the star of Saturday Night Live recently made light-hearted jokes about how she got her fabulous shape on the program. She started the show with a funny comment saying that she achieved her well-known hourglass look by using a weight-loss drug called Ozempic. She then laughed off whispers that she had a love affair with Glenn Powell, her co-star in Anything But You, while she was engaged to businessman Jonathan Davino. Speaking to the crowd, Sydney spoke warmly about her future husband and dismissed any rumors of an affair. She said, But the craziest rumor is that I was having an affair with my co-star Glenn Powell. That's obviously not true. Me and my fiancé produced the movie together, and he was there the entire shoot. Continuing onwards, the movie star confirmed, And I just want to let everyone know that he's the man of my dreams and we're still together and stronger than ever. He even came here tonight to support me. Can we cut to him? But when the camera turned to where it was supposed to show Davino, there was Glenn instead. 